My name is Tandiwe Moreo, a photographer based in Nairobi, Kenya. I describe my work as unapologetically African because I want to celebrate the positive things about being an African. So often our continent is projected as this poor place full of suffering and we're not perfect, but there's so many beautiful things about Africa and I want to celebrate those in my work. I think what's missing from the narrative about Africa and its people is our voice. So often we've had so many other people come to tell our story. I think it's one thing to have our story told by somebody from outside our context, but there's things that we see that they may not necessarily see because we live here, we have community here. I think now is an exciting time to be an African because we're really owning our voice. Before we were shy, a little scared maybe to talk about what to celebrate ourselves and I'm so excited to be part of the movement that's happening now where everybody is beginning to wake up and look around them and say we have so much to celebrate we have so much to contribute and share with the continent and the world recently in my work I have been drawn to our history um, as Kenya and Africa in general, looking at what kind of traditional hairstyles did we have, what kind of traditional clothing did we have, and taking those elements and modernizing them and adding the pop of color that I have in my work and making modern nods to history. It's amazing how much beauty there is just in this one continent, um, all the way from South Africa, all the way up you can just find such different features, such different hair, such different skin tones. I remember growing up as a child, I always felt frustrated. Why is my hair not longer? Why is my nose not more narrow? Why are my lips so big? And it took me a while as a photographer to realize, hold on, there's nothing wrong with me. And I want to pass that message to other women through my work, that you are beautiful with your short hair. You're beautiful with your big lips. You're beautiful with a larger nose. There's nothing wrong with those things. And in fact, those are what make us unique and beautiful. When I finished university, I was feeling pressure to be what every African parent wants their child to be, a doctor, a lawyer, an engineer. And I really struggled with the question of, can I do photography for the rest of my life? Fortunately, my father had coffee with me one day and he told me, why are you considering other jobs? You love photography, so be a photographer. And it was the most liberating conversation I've ever had in my life. I think just because of all the stereotypes around being an artist in Africa, I was afraid to go for it. And having that conversation released me to truly enjoy exploring my photography. I think as women, we have something unique to offer the art world. We see things differently. We appreciate beauty in a different way from men. And so I hope that hearing my story is what will drive a girl somewhere in Tanzania, Uganda, Rwanda, to say, you know what? I want to be a photographer when I grow up. Thank you.